Yes. Okay, troll's gone. You guys want some pizza? It's good pizza. Flat pizza is so medieval. Yeah, pizza hasn't evolved. Like, the earth has become round, and pizza has stayed flat. Well, we should take it into the next century. Update the concept. From flat to 3D. Yeah, we should make 3D pizza. Let's do it. Let's do it, yeah. After we finish out, it's good. I think one of the best pizzas I've ever had. It was like rolled out bread, sprinkled with a little bit of coarse salt, drizzled with olive oil, scrubbed with a fresh tomato, capers and anchovies, and that's it. And fresh rosemary in the oven. The pizza joint that I grew up with as a child was yeah. right around the corner from my house, like about four blocks away. And right next to the pizza joint was like a hole in the wall, was this porno theater. So my introduction to pizza was my introduction to porn. When you said there's a hole in the wall, did you actually get to see the movies through the pizza store? Uh, no, 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 no. So pizza's basically gone downhill since the Middle Ages. Well, yeah. pizza didn't really change for a long, long time until the slight variations on it that kind like, of led, led to its demise. Stuffed crust? Stuffed crust. Yeah. How do you make a pizza that's multidimensional and then, like, not all crust? We could, like, make uh, armatures. What's an armature? The skeleton, basically. Okay. Yeah. Well, all right. What kind of pizzas do you want to make? A dice shape. Yeah, there's the cue. Right. <laughs> yep. And then I got the lid here. And then I'll be putting the mushrooms in here. Or, or I could put a tomato in here. Yours is not really going to require any armature or any kind of pan. The whole deal is going to be pre-make some crackers. It'll be the first freestanding 3D pizza ever. And then I got to roll out some soft dough. This is going to be folded over oh, the hard right. cracker structure. Right. And then I'm gonna put the toppings inside and then fold the soft dough around it. Think it'll work? Yeah, I think yeah. it will. <laughs> I'm thinking about curved pizza. If we're taking pizza into the 21st century, I think we gotta take it through the utopian vision of the 21st century, geodesic pizza. So make a dome, I haven't figured out the math yet, but you know, triangles. All the toppings would be on the outside. How are you planning to hold the dough in place? Roll out around pizza dough. Yeah and drape it over the geodesic pizza frame. And then I'm hoping that where it lines up on the supports, maybe it'll get crispy. Right. And then maybe it'll sag in between. And the sagging is a good place to put toppings. And then what kind of material do you think you'd use to make the uh, structure? Something futuristic. Yeah. Metal. Sounds cool, man. No, but what are you going to do for pizza? Show it a cheese heaven. What kind of cheese is in heaven? The all cheese the cheeses in heaven are all mixed together. So how do we get there, man? How do we get there? You know, it's like some kind of award you would receive for Actually, it musical is. performance. Cheesiest film score. So each step is a slice? More like a mini slice. Right. But on each step, a different type of pizza. All in all, the whole, all the steps will equal you know, a sizable pizza, so that you don't feel like you're getting ripped off. Ripped off? Are you charging us? Spiritually. This would be just a standalone pole attached to some kind of pan or something. And then each small little step cut out of uh, some kind of metal. Or maybe we can cut up a baking pan, cut them into wedge shapes or whatever shapes you want the stairs to be. Are you going to bake this thing vertically? How big's our oven? Well, yeah. this oven's only uh, that high. Is that, is that big enough for you? Well, it's got to be a little bit larger than that, I think. Well, why don't we make our own oven? Yeah, yeah. we could. I've got fire bricks. Oh, you do? Yeah. The kind that you can cook on. The brick structure is what I'm curious about. Like, we're not sticking the bricks together with mortar. We're just going to lay them on top of each other. And if you have the pizza in the front, the fire in the back, the air has to come in, go all the way to the back, heat up, and then go over the pizza on its way back out. So, so you get air convection. There. It adds a bit of wood-fired smoky flavor, too. Yeah, definitely. All right, cool. So we just need to get a few things and then um, make this.
everything we need to build our oven. We've got the wood, we've got the bricks, and we've got the heavy metal. All we have to do now is build it. Over here, we've got all the ingredients for our 3D pizza. We've got the prosciutto. We've got all kinds of cheese, including gorgonzola, as well as bocconcini and traditional mozzarella. We've got some mushrooms and herbs and arugula and all that kind of stuff. But there's one thing I forgot. Micah, I forgot the tomatoes. You forgot the tomatoes? Yeah. Um, Can't make pizza without tomatoes. Okay, hang on. I'll be right back. Hello, Johan. Oh. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm picking tomatoes here. That's perfect. I was hoping we could get some tomatoes. Uh, we're making some pizza. Well, you just came to the right place. Here they are, nice and ripe. Okay, great. I picked the tomatoes, but my wife makes the pizza. Vine ripe tomato. Mmm, do you smell like sunshine? Nice work. We got the tomatoes. We're going to build our oven. We're going to make our pizza pans. We're ready to go. We're bringing the pizza pie out of the dark ages and into the future by making it three-dimensional. Mike is going to be making a geodesic dome pizza, Chris a furry dice, myself a stairway to heaven cheese pizza. The first thing we have to do is build the oven, which we're going to do right in this window here, so we can have it any time we want. What do we have to do? Uh, the oven built. First thing we have to do is build a frame okay. to put the bricks on top. Like a platform. But we should make it like level with this sill, I think, so that we can yeah. slide our pizzas in and out at convenient height. We got some two by fours. The uh, two by fours would burn, so we should probably put some steel in right. between the two by fours. And the fire bricks on top of that. Yeah. So you think this will hold? I think so. So we got to put something on it so the frame doesn't burn, right? If there's like radiant heat back behind the dumpster, there's like what used to be a platform for your trash on. Yeah. Oh. And it's fair game. This thing's heavy, dude. This is some really yeah. good metal on here. You guys all right? Yeah, man. We're going to take this whole thing out, cut it in half, and then this, each piece will lie side by each on top, and that'll give enough support for the bricks. What's the TP for? I can't find my earplugs. Uh, I'd be an idiot to watch you do that and not do it myself. Hey, good work, Micah. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, let's put the metal studs on. We'll know how okay. long to cut it. I think I need some pizza and space it out, man. Let's test it out. Yep. So should I pull, pull it out again? Yeah, watch out. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah, OK. So the grate and the channel, I think, is going to keep the wood from yeah. bursting into flames. We just need a flat piece going across here, and then that should hold all the bricks okay. across the top. So Good we'll protect job. the window. Then make a door. So this is the door. Awesome. Propped up with this uh, pine log. And then uh, we light it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. This up. is it. Time yeah. How long is it going to be? But it's pretty good over there. Yeah, as long as the smoke's going. I mean, yeah. OK, what are you doing? For my Sherwood to Heaven cheese pizza, a centerpiece that um, holds screws into something in the base and then have some stairs running up. Simple. What about you? Geodesic dome out of copper tubing. Build triangles and I'm not quite sure, but lace them together somehow. And then that should be strong enough to put the pizza dough on and bake it. Oh, I'm, uh, well, the dice are going to be uh, made. It's all going to be, there's no armature. It's just going to be crackers. But we were talking about using pie plate for the stairs. Started cutting it into sections. I like I like to shoot it. Yeah. What'd you get? Yeah, that's perfect, that bottom one. Yeah. Or the top one for the bottom. And I also need to, need to determine how high it should be. Don't worry about it. We can always chop off the top. How long does it take for the dough to raise? Two and a half hours. Should we get started? Yeah, probably. On it now? Yeah. How do you make your pizza dough? Adding yeast to flour. Mm hmm You let that rise like 20 minutes, and then you add more flour and some olive oil, some salt, some milk. Do you have to use the milk? No, you don't have to. What, is it, what does it do? Flavor. Maybe it's just something that you do because it's in the recipe. <laughs> I'm squashing the diameter of the tube as an end right. so that they can overlap. I got to figure out what size slice I want to have. How slice of what? Slice of za. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Like a slice of onion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's probably the perfect size. Well, the only thing that I can think of to support it on the outside would be just some copper wire, like a handrail. 
Oh, that's pr okay. That's cool. You know, like that. This stairway is really working out, man. And what's really cool is that we can just get the piece of dough and just drape it all the way down like an evening gown. If it gets too heavy, there's also some supports here. How's it going in there, man? Oh, good. Good. I'm starting on the sauce, chopping some garlic, and then these uh, field fresh tomatoes. Your, your design is looking like the hippiness is starting to take shape. These are the copper tubes that I squashed down on the ends, so they should come together and make the right, like, pentagonal, hexagonal <clears throat> connections. I really like the geometry. It was like the only math I could relate to. I really like skipping geometry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm just hitting OK on the calculator. There's an OK button. And everything's OK. Yeah. To get them to all line up is um, it's proving to be difficult. Like, are you doing them like this? Right. Like little rings. Make little rings. Yeah. So I don't think I can do rings, though. Why not? I know. Well, they'll have to be big rings. Off the ring. Right, like radial style. Yeah, yeah, like this. Right. Yeah. And then the bottom one needs four, right? Yeah, dude. This, right. is, this is gonna be good. Yeah, man. It's gonna be good. I can help hold them, whatever, you know? It's gonna be killer. Yeah. See, they're like that. You know, you're, you know what the thing is? You're, in, you're inside <laughs> of a, like a math equation that is just freaking you out. Yeah, get out of the calculator. Okay, get out of the calculator. Okay, why don't we take it apart and just no, man. start assembling no, no, no. again? <laughs> no, we're not taking it apart. <laughs> don't worry, man. You can do it. I oh, know. That's right. Oh. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> no, what are you talking about? I was scratching my cheek. Trouble. Jeez. Trouble. Oh, man. Just because you can't get your geodesic like dome together, you get an all. <laughs> Whoa. I'm ready to cook. I think I know how I can fix this. What I'll do is I'll just cut away all the wire at the bottom, stack everything back up, and then rewire it. Gotcha. I think it'll work. How so long until we can start stacking dough? Oh, uh, not too long. I'd say like an hour and a half. Nice. That's like a hairnet. <laughs> okay. I think this is the first toque I've ever made. Put it on. Oh, man. <laughs> you can hear, like, cell phone conversations. <laughs> man, that's awesome. Oh, dude, we got some serious Whoa. problems. This is too smoky. Oh, no. Oh, oh, that's that's insane. Insane. Micah! <laughs> the oven is totally spilling into the living room. We gotta let this fire die out and fix this. We gotta right. do Let's figure it out. We built an oven right in our window so that we could make 3D pizza anytime we wanted to. <laughs> Didn't work out so well. Smoke billowing into the apartment. So we got to figure out how to fix that so that it doesn't happen and we can get back to cooking our pizza. Yeah. It's like going right up the chimney. Yeah. It's brilliant. It work. Good work, pilgrims. Okay. All right. And we'll let it warm up. Okay. Okay. Are we ready? Is this it? Are we making yeah. our pizzas? Yeah. Want me to start rolling out stuff for you guys? <sighs> totally. Let's see what else we got. Nuts, chorizo, provolone. What's this? Ricotta, goat cheese, ricotta. Are you guys into putting olives on your pizza? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I cut up a bunch. Do you know how much I love porcini mushrooms? Let That's a lot of prosciutto. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, but, you know, yeah, oh, don't use your right. fingertips. Oh, you know, go right, right through it. Use the back of your hands. Go. Let it land on your yeah. hands. Yeah, yeah, nice. That's awesome. And then uh, do a headbutt. Headbutt, headbutt. <laughs> do you think the thickness is okay? Oh, yeah. You can do a cascade of olive oil right here. You're going to put some extra parmesan? Yeah, it helps to not make it stick. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Was the oil kind of overkill then? No, no, the oil and cornmeal is double power, not stick. Okay. It's the big moment here. It's like great. the first spiral pizza I've seen. 
Hey, Martin. <laughs> I missed that. I almost got a face mask. <laughs> I think it's ready. Okay, cool. How am I going to cornmeal this thing? The oil will allow the cornmeal to stick. Right. No, you're so good at trimming. Maybe you can give a hand. I'm ready to put toppings on. Martins, I'm just going to use some of uh, the pesto you made. It's more like working on a house. I'm stoked. I'm going to make like 3D pizzas all the time, man. I'm gonna make a prosciutto skirt around the base. I think we'll just go with layers like that. So then maybe like provolone? Some capers? Maybe some olives too then, like that? Yeah. I'll do maybe a ring of uh, sauce. Yeah, we'll pretend like we're dyeing Chris's hair. And it's okay if it drizzles. That's just the nature of the third dimension, man. Or like a ringlet of both I think some arugula would okay. be nice too. Yeah. Micah, this is beautiful. So we got a boogie. Okay, what are we doing, Nobu? Okay, I'm just gonna do a little couple steps of, of pesto. Right. And then the rest with tomato. I'm thinking of Nobu, like the rainbow staircase. Yeah, just go crazy. Okay. All right. Just do it. Okay. Okay. Olives are on there, yeah. Do you want a couple steps of uh, chorizo? Pardon? Definitely some chorizo. Throwing some basil down. Pesto, tomato. It's good. The divine shafts of light from the heaven. Now it's done. Let's get started on yours, man. How are you going to make a cube? Well, I got these pieces here. I'm gonna put them uh, cheese side into the dough, so it's like a step press. And then uh, I need you guys to help me hold up the walls while we just wrap it with dough. We'll pour the sauce in when it's kind of like half built. So if you guys could help me like hold it in place. Sure, sure. When it can actually reach the top. Yeah. So you guys can just start tossing things in here. Just tossing? Really? Yeah, just whatever you want. Yeah. The cheese as well? Just like, yeah. Just dump it in? <laughs> It looks like we're feeding the pizza. Do you want some prosciutto in there? Capers? Olives? No. Nope. How about provolone? I think just mushrooms, cheese. Should we just throw this in there? Yeah, yeah. For the dye on. Oh. Yeah, okay, oh, nice little brilliant, man. pepperoni on there. Okay. Are we, are we taking them all over or just the ones? Let's take them all over. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Take it all the way back. Take it all the way back. Right there. Let's move another pizza in. All right. Oh, clearance is good. Very nice. Nice. 3D pizza. 3D pizza. 3D pizza. Okay, the dice is ready. Oh, Cheese dough. Looks so good. Which is incredible. Would you like to take a wow. step up? I totally do. I kind of want to see it from underneath. Check it out. You want to see it from underneath? Yeah, yeah. Let's okay. check it out. Oh, look at that. Whoa. That is so cool. <laughs> Wicked. Yeah. Oh, that is so great. That is pro. Let's eat these things. We wanted to take pizza out of the dark ages and into the future, so we decided to make it 3D. Micah made a geodesic dome pizza, Chris made a rolling die, as in dice, and I made a stairway to cheese heaven. We also wanted to build our own pizza oven. We put it right in the window so we could have it any time we wanted. The pizzas are cooked, and now we get to try them. All right, I just want to say, uh, when we did it, guys, yeah, we pulled it off. This is the future. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. We nice. put in a good effort. Pizza. I want to try yours first. Okay, should we bust into that? Yeah. Nice one, Nobu. Yeah. Okay. Any suggestions about where I should pierce? Take a sample, like, you know? Just okay. Do some exploring. I like our futuristic um, pizza slicing. Oh, don't burn yourself on the vapor. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it's what? like a pizza treasure chest, man. <laughs> That's a pizza can. Do you want some, like, outside wall? It's amazing. It's like a pizza cave. It is. Gamble. There was a gamble whether or not it was oh, going to turn out. Yeah. <laughs> it was dicey. <laughs> but, yeah. Bon appetit. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, really great. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Your pizza rules. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Thanks, thanks a lot. Great. And you were stressing so hard about this frame. I know, the frame was tricky. It was a brain teaser. It was. It didn't That's stick. It. It's amazing. It didn't stick. No, it didn't stick at all. Cheesy pizza. After it comes off of um, our 3D frames, it's just flat pizza. <laughs> but how's the flavor? Does it taste flat? Not at all. No way. No, nice mm. mixture of cheeses. Mm, a smoky flavor, too. Smoky no. Yeah. That's the thing. So good. The wood fire oven is just the perfect way to cook. All okay. right, so this is it, people. 3D pizza. <laughs>
<laughs> Check it out. Dude. Ooh. What step would you like? Anywhere, man. Anywhere? So cheesy. Yeah. Mm. 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 What exactly do you love about it? Ascending, descending flavors at the same time. It's like a roller coaster. Really nice combo. Yeah. Again, the wood fire. Mm -hmm. But I got like lots of pesto cheese and prosciutto right here. Mm -hmm. Heavy on the cheese. Yeah. And it's great. Guys? Yeah. Great work. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. I have a feeling that in like 15, 20 years when the word gets out. And we're going to be uh, getting phone calls. We're going to be lots of phone calls. We're going to be the busiest piece of shop in town for 3D pizza. I don't know. Are you guys hungry for, should we order some pizza yes. or something? Yeah. So 3D Pizza, can I take your order? Yeah, I'd like to uh, order a pizza, please. Yeah. Egyptian special number seven. Okay, thank you. Okay, Egypt special number seven. Okay. Number okay. seven? Yeah, all right. Okay, I got one coming out of the store. I got the okay. pizza. Put the pizza in the box. Okay, there's a serious lift here, folks. Yeah, we got it. Hook it on, hook it on. Okay, here it goes. Okay, pizza away. Later. Oh! Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah.